Hello! Oh my god! Hey guys, um, this is my first, like, vlog, I guess, on this channel. Um, I'm using my computer for this, so I'm sorry if the quality is, like, absolutely shit. Um, my phone ran out of storage, so that's just great. So, if you don't know me, I am Fetch Me a Rum 420 on Tumblr. That's me. Um, yeah, you probably think, you, you probably didn't expect me to look this young, so sorry about that. Anyway, I swear I'm 18. Anyway. So this is going to be the story of how I got into 1776, and it's not like overly like special or anything, but you know, who knows? I mean, I've, I've been wondering if I should tell this story for a little bit, but and you know, things happen, and I'm like, oh, it's July 1st, why not make a video the first day of the month? So, I can't believe it's fucking July already, what the hell, what the fuck's going on? So, um, this all started back in like, end of November, beginning of December of 2022. And at this point, I was obsessed with Gary Beach. I still am. But, like, it was, like, unhealthy, I guess. So, luckily, I calmed down a bit. I'm not crazy. I swear. I swear I'm not crazy, y'all. Okay, I gotta stop, like, being sidetracked. Anyway, ADHD things. So, because I've read and watched so many videos of him talking about 1776, at first, I really didn't care, to be honest. I'm just, like, well, I cared that he was into it. Like, I liked that. Like, I loved that he was so into it. But I just personally couldn't see myself getting into the show because I didn't know anything about it. I only just said it was called 1776 and I just assumed it was like about all that, but I didn't really know anything about it. And then it was one particular interview that made me really want to watch it. I forgot which one it is, but he was talking about, you know, yeah, it was the one where he got, went on for Edward Rutledge for the first time and how crazy that was. It wasn't like extremely crazy. It wasn't anything extravagant, but you know, it was still crazy to him, and um, so I'm like, I want to know more about this Rutledge guy, like, like, why he was so obsessed with the role, because of how he was talking about how much he loved Edward Rutledge, well, the role, not the actual founding father, but, that, like, the role in the song he sings, I was like, you know what, I want to learn more about this guy, let's, let's watch the movie, so for Christmas of 2022, I got the 1776 musical on Blu-ray DVD, and it took me about a month to watch it because I just was lazy. I just didn't want to. I just, I wasn't super invested yet. So I'm like, okay. But then I started watching clips here and there on YouTube. I'm like, oh my God, I actually really like this. Um, I forgot which song. I, th I think it was But Mr. Adams that really got me into it. You, it, you would think it would be Molasses to Run because I was just talking about Edward Rutledge, but no, it was But Mr. Adams. And then I listened to the original Broadway cast recording on iTunes. Well, Apple Music, whatever. iTunes where you buy shit. But, and then I was like, I was like, holy fuck. I was, I was obsessed with it. And I hadn't even watched a fucking movie yet. So, and then I watched a movie. I don't remember the exact date, which is pretty shitty. But I think I might have it on Instagram. Like, I know it was like, the, at either the end of January or beginning of February. It was around that time. Anyway, it was winter. It was the very beginning of, 20, of this year, 2023. And I just fell in love with it immediately. Actually, okay, it did take me two days to watch it because I watched the first half and then I finished the second half because honestly, I don't even know why. I think because it was so long, I needed a break, and then I forgot to watch it the ne like, for the rest of the day, so then I watched it the next day, but it wasn't because I was bored. I loved it. And then the song Cool Cool Considerate Men happened, and I think I was transported to a different world because I was obsessed with it. I mean, yes, I did listen to it on the cast recording, but actually seeing it and the choreography is a whole different fucking thing. I was just like, holy crap, that's amazing. And then Molasses the Roman, I was, oh my god. Edward Rutledge used to be my dream role. Like, I loved Edward Rutledge, but then I decided that I didn't like him because I just, because I wasn't paying attention too clearly to what he was talking about, so I didn't really care. But then I was really realizing that, that he was a horrible person. So I'm like, okay, never mind, I don't like you, but John Cullum's hot, so I don't even know how to do this. I don't know what to do here. My favorite character at first was, who was it? Benjamin Franklin. How did I forget? It was Ben Franklin, Howard DeSilva. At that point, I didn't really know too much about Howard DeSilva. I thought he was a nice guy at first, but then I read all the stories and shit, and I'm like, okay, not really. But, well, he did change after- Like, during the movie, he was really nice, but, like, during the Broadway production, he was an asshole, so... 
don't get into that. That's that's gonna be a whole new video. Like how Howard DeSilva was fired and quit. I, I mean, that's not even what I'm talking about. But anyway, it's gonna be a whole story to Howard DeSilva and what the fuck he was about. He did the movie. He was in, he changes he changes everybody. He changed the personality. It was great. And then I watched a movie almost every day. Since then, I've stopped like to like only a couple times a month because I was getting too repetitive. I'm like, okay, I know this movie by heart. I can practically watch it in my sleep. So. I actually tried once, but then I fell asleep after 10 minutes, so. I think it's a good strategy to make you sleep. Just watch 1776 in your head. Anyway. And then I started getting obsessed with all these some characters. Richard Henry Lee was one of them. Ben Franklin. Um, I think Dickinson. Yeah, I At first, I didn't really care for him, but I, then I got into James Wilson I was obsessed with. And then along came John Hancock and David Ford. <laughs> Um, because of Emery Bass actually played James Wilson, I started watching Dark Shadows a little bit because four people from 1776 are in that. Um, Virginia Vestoff, who played Abigail, she played Cassandra Collins. Daniel Keyes, who played Dr. Josiah Bartlett, he played um, the Collinwood Graver caretaker. Emery Bass played Mr. Best, who is this like kind of like the Grim Reaper, but like a magical elf thing. And David Ford as Sam Evans. So... The f and then I fell in love with David Ford in April, like an around the beginning of April, it was funny, sorry. And the March, beginning of April, more like. And because I loved him in Dark Shadows immediately, I'm like, oh my god, he's so freaking hot. But then I started paying more attention to Hancock. I mean, he already, he already, like, he already had made me laugh a few times, but now I was really laughing because I was really paying attention. I mean, like, oh my god, I love John Hancock, and to this day, John Hancock is still my favorite character. I mean, obviously, I love a lot of people in the movie, but John Hancock is my guy. A hundred percent. As if y'all didn't know that, because on Tumblr you see me, like, obsessing over him. And then I heard that he had played Dickinson. I got the story kind of confused. I thought he had played Dickinson after the movie, but I don't even think he returned to Broadway or the show after the movie was filmed. At first, for, like, a good part of the first year that it was on Broadway, he played Hancock, and then around the end of the year he went into the role of Dickinson. And I was just amazed. And for a long time, I was trying to look up photos. And then for a week, I was like, oh, it's not going to happen. So then, I'm t and then on Tumblr, I was like, oh my god, does anybody have a photo? And um, somebody sent photos. And I'm, I'm like, so grateful. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, holy shit. Um, this is amazing. And so actually, I have the photos. I don't even, wait, this is just a test. Can you even see? Yes, you can. Okay. It's my, my, as if you couldn't tell, my wallpaper is freaking John Hancock. Well, that's my home screen. Well, I mean, not the home screen, the... What's it called? The lock screen's Hancock, and then it's just a regular picture of David Ford for the home screen. With his ex-wife, who I don't want to talk about because she's a freaking biatch. It's gonna be a while. Just give me a second. Oh, wait, passed it, passed it, passed it. Okay, um... This is him as Dickinson. Um, if I tilt it a little bit, you can see it better. Yeah, that's him. The first one. And then the second one. That's him right there so that was just amazing there is another one but it's so tiny and it's so blurry i can't i'm gonna have to actually buy the physical program to see it better but you know what i don't know it's like 20 bucks on ebay but i have money so i can buy it but still not to brag but I'm wearing a beetlejuice shirt and up there on those shelves i have a, a few 1776 merch like i have the script i have the program I have the DVD, and I have the the music sheets with all all the songs. Well, almost all of them, I think. I got. I might have to go back and take a look at it, but almost all of them. It's like one of the bigger ones. But anyway, seventeen seventy six has changed my life, and I never thought I would want to perform because I'm like you might not see it, but I'm the world's most shyest person. I am extraordinary introverted, and I have severe anxiety, so like it's not gonna happen. But then watching seventeen seventy six, I'm like, okay. I want to play John Hancock. Where there's three main roles I really want to play. John Hancock, John Dickinson, and Edward Rutledge. Solely for the purpose of singing Molasses to Rum. I mean, it is a great part. He's scary. But, like, I want to sing Molasses to Rum. Because John Hancock only sings a little bit. Well, he sings in Sit Down, John, because everybody does, but you can't hear him. He doesn't have a solo or anything. But in Cool, cool Consider Men, he has, like, four lines. Like, like four lyrics. Whatever you want to call it. And so, it's Gucci. But still, I'd rather... Like, actually, you know, whip the... It's called Fly Swatter. That's my freaking channel. John Hancock's Fly Swatter. I don't know how I forgot, because I'm a... But anyway. 
So, to this day, I am obsessed with 1776. Actually, the whole month of June, I was really just like, I, I had wa I barely watched it in June because I was so obsessed with Dark Shadows during June. It's not even funny. I mean, I still am, obviously. I'm gonna still watch it, but I'm like, 1776 is my main focus right now. So, yeah, that's how the story happened. Gary Beach is the reason I'm even into 1776. So, thanks, Gary. And by the way, in like two and a half weeks on the 17th, he's gonna be gone five years. So, that just really, really sucks. Not looking forward to it, but still, what are you gonna do? I can't believe it's been five years. I was on vacation when I found out. It was horrible. It ruined my vacation. Luckily, it was towards the end. It was like the last day or two, I think. But anyway, that's gonna be another video for another day. I don't know. That's not really 1776 related, so we was on the show, so it counts. But anyway, that's the story. I ramble a lot, so very sorry about that, but it's ADHD. 1776 is the best musical ever, and if you didn't watch if you haven't watched it yet, then you are um you should probably get some help. Um, I'm kidding. It's it's great. It's great.